Hey, hello. Today, I'm going to critique the roster of 7 Yoshi 7 7. So, let's get right in. This is his true final SSP4 roster. Okay. So, he does not have any angry fighting style characters. He's just using the traditional colors. And loading. He added two new Mario reps, Fawful and Bowser Jr. Bowser Jr. is good. Fawful would be a cool fighter, but you don't need two new Mario characters. It already has way too many. They already have so much compared to everything else. Um, you added Dixie and King K. Rool, which again, first of all, Diddy and Dixie are both smaller Kongs, and we just got Diddy. Why do we already need Dixie? I think you should go with King K. Rool and Bowser Jr. and take out Fawful and Dixie. And for Samus, you have it. You kept Zero Suit Samus, and you can pick either one. Ridley is a good choice. For Star Fox, you might want to... Crystal's good, but you should put Crystal with the Star Fox team, not below both. Um, Link looks like his Skyward Sword. Zelda, you let Sheik or Zelda be picked from the menu. Um, and you kept Toon Link. You added Toon Zelda and Vati. I think it depends. Toon Zelda doesn't really have a fighting style outside of Tetra and the Phantom. So I think you should just go with Vati or give Toon Zelda a Tetra transformation and take out Vati. But the Pokemon Trainer you kept, which is good. And you added in Meowth, Psyduck, and Pokemon Rival and took out. No, you didn't. Uh, Meowth is a normal type and would fight just like Jigglypuff. It would be pretty boring, but it could scratch and it is a Team Rocket Kit member in the anime. So, it is still an antagonist. Psyduck bothers me. And Pokemon Rival bothers me. Psyduck can't even fight. They always get headaches. Even in the games. I mean, it could surf and stuff, but that's kind of like Squirtle. And all your Pokemon. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Eight Pokemon are members of Gen 1. And then you have Lucario and Zoroark. So, the Pokemon rival you have fighting with Mewtwo, Lucario, and Zoroark. Uh, Mewtwo doesn't deserve to come back. Neither does Roy later. But Mewtwo doesn't deserve to come back. And Zoroark should be either replace Lucario or keep Lucario because they took him out for a reason. They wanted to have a, at least one new gen Pokemon who stands human-like. 
So go with Zoromark. Or keep Lucario. But Mewtwo doesn't deserve to come back. He was taken out for Isaac. Isaac is good. Samurai Goro's good. The picture, I don't know if he's going to fight with his katanas, which would be a good moveset for him. He's not really a fist fighter. Little Mac is good. Klaus is good. Marth, Ike, Roy. Roy doesn't deserve to come back. And, anyways, Roy was just added into Melee for the reason of promotion. They didn't want him as a fighter or anything. They just wanted to promote the new Fire Emblem game. So, a good Fire Emblem rep would be Mikaya, because she's a female and she fights with magic. Or Lin, who's still a female. But we already have enough sword fighters. And Roy wasn't even a good choice when they did put him in. Um, Starfy's okay. Ice Cream. Game and Watch. I don't know why you have Mr. Game and Watch is a third party character. Snake, Game & Watch, Rayman, Muddy Mole, Sonic, Gina. Okay. Well, against placement, I guess. Rayman represents Ubisoft. So, not really. They're not very, well, important. They only make the Rayman games. They don't make any other really popular games. Muddy Mole... No, he's not a good fighter or anything. It's not like we have to represent Nintendo with Muddy Mole or whatever company makes him. Um, and Gino's a good Square Enix rep. He's kind of another Mario character, and you already added two. So you could leave Gino in as a third-party character if you take out Fawful or Bowser Jr. Because we definitely don't need three new Mario characters. So I would give this roster a 6.5 6.4 7 Yoshi 7 7 you get a 